Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to use the degree and the sign of the leading coefficient of polynomial functions to determine the end behavior of these functions. So here's a table to review what happens at the ends when we're given the two types of degrees and when we're given the two types of signs. So a degree that's even and a sign that of the leading coefficient that's positive goes up in both directions. If the degree is even and the sign of the leading coefficient is negative, then the graph goes down in both directions. If the degree is odd and the sign of the leading coefficient is positive, then as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, y gets smaller and smaller and smaller. As x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, y gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And lastly, if the degree is odd and the sign of the leading coefficient is negative, as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, y gets bigger and bigger and bigger. As x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, y gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's really important that we keep these things in mind, these combinations, if you need to make flashcards or whatever's gonna make sense to help you remember. You can always just kind of use uh, cheating shortcuts and just remember that the most basic even degreed polynomial whose sign is positive is a quadratic. And that would look, uh oh, my pen's not working. How about now, there we go. That would look like this, a quadratic, the, the graph of a quadratic is called a parabola and it goes up in both directions when a is positive. When a is negative for a quadratic, it turns around. So we see the negative negative. Oh boy, this pen, let's try again. Ooh. Well, that's just what it's gonna look like now. Uh, the, the simplest odd positive would be a straight line, like the straight line y equals x, which would go like this. So as we're going to the left, it's going down. As we're going to the right, it's going up. And then, uh, y equals negative x would be the most basic odd degreed negative leading coefficient function there, which would look like that. So whatever helps, that's sometimes what I have to visualize, what, whatever works for you. Okay, in our first two examples, we're given two polynomial functions. We want to determine the end behavior of these. So we don't even need to see the graphs, although bonus, because I did put the graphs on here later, after we predict the behavior, then I'll show you the graph. In letter A, we see since this is all uh, in correct uh, form, we can see that the degree is seven because that's the largest of the exponents and the leading coefficient is three. So this is an odd degree. That's what we care about, whether the degree is odd or even and the leading coefficient is positive. We care if the leading coefficient is positive or negative. So remember, what does an odd degree positive leading coefficient do? Well, this means as x go, gets smaller and smaller towards negative infinity, this is odd and positive, y will do the same thing. y will also go to negative infinity. And as x goes to positive infinity, y will also go to positive infinity. So we're predicting that the graph will go down on the left and up on the right, and then there could be things in between here that make it a polynomial function. And there's the graph. So we can see this one's very narrow and you can see it's going down on the left and up on the right. In example B, h of x, this time the degree, this is written in standard form, so we don't have to worry about doing anything weird. The degree is eight and the leading coefficient is negative seven. So this is a, we care that this is even, the degree is even, and we care that the leading coefficient is negative. That indicates to us that as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller as it goes towards negative infinity, y will go towards negative infinity. As x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that means that y will go towards negative infinity as well, because when the degree is even, the, the y's will go in the same direction. So this indicates that the graph is gonna look something like this, and there's gonna be things happening in there. And we can see the graph there, it's going down on the left and down on the right as we predicted. In our next two examples, we have g of x is equal to negative 2x cubed times x minus 1 quantity squared. So this time the polynomial is given in factored form. So in order to determine that degree, we need to multiply the largest uh, degrees of each factor. So we're going to take this since that's the only term in the factor. And then we have x squared. So the degree, so the first term in this polynomial will be negative 2x cubed times x squared or negative 2x to the fifth. So now we know this is a degree 5 polynomial and the leading coefficient is negative 2. Because it's a degree 5, 5 is an odd number. 
leading coefficient is negative. So since it's uh, odd and negative, this means that as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, y gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So it goes towards positive infinity. As x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, y does the opposite. y gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So that means that as x, as we move to the left, the graph goes up. As we move to the right, the graph goes down. And then things happen in the middle, which we see in the graph of g of x. It goes up to the left and down to the right. Last but not least, letter D, f of x equals 0.04x times x minus 3 quantity squared times x plus x minus 2 quantity cubed, let's try that again, times x plus 3 quantity squared. So again, we need to, since this is in factored form, we're going to take the largest of each of the factors. So it's going to be 0.04x times x cubed times x squared. This would end up being 0.04 x to the sixth. And again, I just chose a really small coefficient just because it helps with the graph. It kind of like puts everything so it's not all really spread out and really uh, stretched. So that's the only reason it has a really small coefficient. Okay, so this one has a degree of six and the leading coefficient is 0 0.04. So degree six means that we're dealing with an even degree. And the leading coefficient, while it's really small, it is still positive. This indicates the end behavior will go, because it's even and positive, as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, f of x, or uh, yeah, f of x gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, y also gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So that it, what we're looking at is we should have it going up in both directions with things happening in between. And there's the graph. So we can see it's going up on the left and up on the right.